You can start talking and just. Hello, you know, people. How, how are you? We have a um, special guest tonight. Please, Hi. Rian, introduce yourself. Hi, guys. How are you? Uh, Ua, Rian McGrath from Full Fat Tunage, Licky Sound FM in Dublin here. First of all, happy St. Patrick's Day to all the uh, Pravaluta Eurovision uh, followers and happy Patrick's Day to you guys. How are you? Are you well? Yeah, very good, actually. Yeah, we celebrated. Well, actually, St. Patrick's is on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, but... we start the party, start the party early, like. <laughs> yeah, Irish style, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. I'm trying to remove the other, I don't know why it's, it, it's double, the, the live version, so I have to remove it because people will try to click on the other video and it's not the one because I think to appear on that, we'll see. <sighs> We are sorry, we don't know how to do live videos yeah. yet. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> We've done a few already, so no, we know, but the thing is, the other don't allow you to put the thumbnail and things like that, whatever. I... Anyway, <laughs> so we're here just to talk about uh, the Irish century this year. Yeah. Yes, we are. Sarah McTerman with so, 22. Yeah, Sarah McTernan. From Claire. Yeah, what um, do you know about her that you are more? Well, <laughs> well, she came. So she she came third in the Voice of Ireland 2015. Mm -hmm. um, she, I think she's a wedding singer by profession, and um, yeah. that's basically as much as I know about her. Um, she's 24, and um, that's about really it. And um, she, I've never heard of her to be honest about it. Uh, I don't watch the Voice of Ireland. I think it's pretty. No, if it's not really, I don't know, it's not yeah. me, like. Yeah, yeah. So but, she's not very famous in Ireland? No, I don't think so at all. I, I, I think, I, to be honest, I don't think anybody knows her. All right. And, um, and she was, I think all the rumours that were like, uh, for what, Una Healy from the Saturdays and Samantha Mumba and uh, Janet Devlin, they're all just bullshit, basically. So, uh, okay, I'm trying just to get the chat here if people... So yes, see France is already there, so hi. Hi. Just to see the it. chat. I think hi. we have two viewers. <laughs> yeah, because the other is there, but anyway, it says there that we're live, so. So yeah, sorry, you were saying, yeah, that she's not very famous, she just participated in the Voice of Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get third. Okay. What happened with the Irish delegation this year? Because they didn't announce anything at all until the last day and there were a lot of gossip rumors about different artists competing what happened there there was also this boycott that some people yeah. say that uh, they will do uh, because the contest is uh, held in in israel so what happened this year in ireland well i don't know they kept their they kept their cards close to their chest didn't they um what i read from um the Irish delegation was they like they got a hundred they got four hundred and thirty entries this year. Wow, that's, um, a lot. that's a lot. Yeah, but apparently the thing in with Irish the, with the Irish delegation is they get they don't get um, finished songs. They only get demos because I think obviously Ireland is a small country. They don't we don't have the kind of the pulling power to get like the big songwriters. I think um, mm -hmm. so they kind of get the kind of unfinished things. So they got the song. They found a song, and from what I what I read is, then they found the singer to go with the song. It wasn't, uh, you know, Sarah McTainan didn't she submit the song herself. You know what I mean? They kind of they just worked it around her. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, she like to me, she has the like. Okay, the girl can sing, right? I'm not going to deny that. Um, for, for me, it's it's just a generic X Factor style voice, which is not for me. It kind of turns me off, to be honest about it. I just. I mean, she looks great, but the voice, she can sing. There's um, a band, there's an artist I love called Father John Misty. And mm -hmm. in a song, he has a lyric in a song which says, I hate the soulful affectation white girls put on. And I kind of <laughs> think that it's actually written for Sarah McTiernan in, in the future. Because it's, it's, that, it's that in a nutshell. But like, you know, I mean, I think it's destined, destined for the NQ. Do not, do not qualify, does not qualify, to be honest with it. Which is sad because after last year we made so much progress. We qualified, you know, it was great. Like, yeah, exactly. Think, yeah, because last you know, year we, was, we, was a really good surprise, actually. I mean, we 
we we watched it together and we were in like the George um, yeah. which is a gay bar in Dublin and there were that the, was there an were epic the, moment epic it was amazing moment. there Ireland were the last name out of the hat of 10 and the place only went wild you know ole 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 it was fantastic <laughs> like you know I was like we won the Eurovision you know no, but, I mean um, it must feel like amazing I mean it's a big success and the song was really good so very happy for that and yeah, uh, well, regarding this year's song, I don't yeah. dislike it at all. Yeah, let's, I mean, I'm going to try to put the song here on the yeah, screen. Okay. Let's see if no, it I, works. I don't like. I don't dislike it either. I just think it's average, maybe. But it's yeah. nice. Let's okay. See. okay, Okay. let's the watch song it. Should be there. So, yeah, it's not a bad song, but I don't know. We, we can talk over it. It would be a bit high for the viewers, but... Uh, so the song is playing. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, playing, the, the yeah. viewers are listening to the to the song. Okay. So yeah, I don't dislike the song, but I find I find it a bit of a standard, and I don't find that it's uh, competitive enough for Eurovision. Mm -hmm. It won't no. stand out, not for the no. song, not for the voice, yeah, not no. for the staging. It, it means like a really amazing staging, and I don't see which one could be because Look, even the how, lyrics how... are not so mm. grabbing. So I don't know. It's impossible to stage, you know. Last year we had a, a dancing gay couple, which elevated and lifted the song on the night and made That's it memorable. True. How are you gonna How are you gonna elevate this? You know what I mean? What are you gonna do? Like put a wind machine in her hair? You know? It's, <laughs> no, no more, no it, more it, wind it, machines. It, it's gonna be It's gonna be swallowed up. It's in the second semi final. It's gonna be swallowed up on the night. It, like it's It's gonna be everybody. As a friend of mine said to me. All of Europe are going to get up and make a cup of tea when Ireland come on. They're not going to, you know what I mean? They're not going to, they're going to forget about it. Right? Yeah, well, it will depend on what's the running order and things like that. But they're in the first half, aren't they, of the second semi final? Okay, okay. Yes. so let's say who is in the second semi final first. Yeah, well, at least it's the second semi final and not the first. That's the first one. So, I well, think the first, is going to be more is, tough. In the second yeah, semi final, there's Switzerland, Sweden, both. Yeah. Automatic qualifiers. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all Ireland, right. Austria, Moldova, yeah. Latvia, Romania, Denmark. So maybe there is a chance there. I, I don't find these yeah, okay. last countries. Oh, yeah, yeah no, but, but, but then the you have Armenia, yeah. Azerbaijan, Albania, Russia, the Netherlands, oh yeah, I mean, Malta. Yeah. It's gonna, it's, gonna be hard. it's gonna be hard for, for Ireland. It will depend I, on the running order because with they have in the same part of the semi-final Switzerland, Sweden, uh, Armenia, that are big favorites. Yeah, but even I, Romania is going to bring. But look at the other really part good. of the semi-final: yeah, but, Russia and the Netherlands. They are first and second in yeah. the betting notes to win. So yeah, we're in trouble. Ireland are in trouble. Like I'm telling you, now, Ireland are really in trouble here. I have eight definites out of that okay. group. And, so let us Ireland, <laughs> and, and we're lucky, remember, Ukraine are gone. Ukraine would have been a certainty as well. So it would have been, you know, one pick left. So Ireland, Austria, Moldova, Latvia, Romania, Denmark, Albania, Croatia, Lithuania. And I think Lithuania will actually probably get in there. So it'll just be, yeah. you know, anyone's guess, to be honest about it. Like, Yeah, it's going to be not, like... I think the famine's going to continue for... The Irish Eurovision fan, I think it is. It's we're not there yet, lads. We made progress, but we're going backwards, unfortunately. Like to be honest, checking this list, there to me there are only six six automatic qualifiers. Really, six: Who Switzerland, six? Switzerland, Sweden, yeah. Armenia, Russia, yeah. the Netherlands, and Malta. No, it's not qualify. Sure no I'm not so sure. Qualify. I'm not so sure. No, I'm I think not sure that people that overhype that song. Do you see Azerbaijan? Yes. Azerbaijan is probably is going to be. A fact, no, seven, seven um, automatic qualifiers. Yes, um, yes, I say that. So, so uh, Lithuania probably. Why Lithuania? No, Lithuania is not qualified. Romania, Romania is going to pass for sure. Romania is going to pass for sure. I don't know. I mean, Romania? it's Romania, diaspora, and the song is good. And the last version sounds the, quite good. The song is good. Did they yeah. do a, re a revamp of the song as well? Like yeah, a, but yes, it didn't yeah. touch much, but yeah, it, it's looking a bit better. Yeah, no, I'm fan of it. I like it. Like, I don't know. I, I think well, that Ireland will struggle to yeah, qualify, struggle. but it's, yeah. not, 
it's not that it's impossible, you know. I, yeah, see. well, I, t- <laughs> mm, I tell you what, like, if this song came out a week ago, and uh, I walked to work and I listened to it, and I literally went through the five stages of grief listening to this song, like, <laughs> you anger, bargaining, depression, and finally acceptance, acceptance. and now I'm, I'm, I'm at that acceptance now, like, so we're not going to qualify, I think, sadly, and I'm okay with that. Well, I mean, you never know. I mean, everything maybe, could happen. Maybe but... Isla was very creative last year with the stadium. Yeah. Uh, that was the element who made them qualify. The gay couple dancing on the stage. Yeah. That was very oh, yeah. original. That was very rapid. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe the staging makes the difference. Yeah, this exactly. Year. If the I delegation know. prepares good and makes a good staging and prepare her for what it comes, it has a chance. Maybe we are. If too they don't improve what the product is right now, they don't have any chances to go ahead. Well, no. another factor is. Uh, you say that she sings well, but some people yeah. say the other day she, she was live and she was a good live. Oh, yeah, no, I don't, she, I don't know that she's, I've never seen her sing live now, but so, does some, are, you, are you hearing that she doesn't sing live at all? No, no the other day, we some comments. He, the other oh. day she was in RTE, I think, and she sang and she was very nervous. Oh, so she, she, sang, she sang last week on, on RTE, that's right. Was it on like um, the Late Late Show or one of those? Yeah, yeah I, can't, I can't remember. I just watched it on Twitter. So I can't, yeah, I can't yeah, remember. yeah. And she and she didn't sound great, did she? Yeah, she, she was really nervous. That's what people were oh, saying. Oh, shit. That's worrying then. If she's if she's, if she's she's nervous on in RTE, what she's going to be like in front of... Yeah, that's the thing. That's why I'm saying that delegation should prepare her to what is going to be there and to make more gigs and trying to go to the pre-parties and things like that. I'm sure, I'm sure she's going to do all the kind of the, the pre-parties and stuff like in Holland. There's one, I know there's one on in the UK, in London there. In yeah, London. London, yeah. Russia, Madrid. Yeah. And Riga. Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam and Riga. Yeah. Let's so see. maybe, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't look cool, but... Let's, let's no. not be that pessimistic. Just, how, how would they pick this as the best song out of, out of 430 songs? You know, did they sit around and yeah. went, this has a chance, this is going to do it for us. Come on, guys, wake up, like. Especially Ireland. Like, there are so many quality composers, some writers and artists in general. Ireland is a musical country. Yeah. Like, you can but, see baskets on the street doing amazing, sing, singing amazingly as well. So why this this entry? I don't know. Because people don't like the Eurovision Ireland. That's why I did. It's, it's met with kind of yeah. disdain as like, they, people scoff at the Eurovision. You know what I mean here? You, yeah, you, but, notice, you, notice, you live here. You know, you've, I'm sure you've seen it. Like, Yeah, I know. But that is, it happens the same in Spain. But it's, yeah. it's a catch-22 situation. If you don't bring nice people and good people to the contest, people won't get put up into the contest. So they will say, well, yeah. We're bringing shit every day, every year, so that's one of the big problems. Yeah, it's like I the problem with Ireland delegation, Irish delegation is the same as the Spanish delegation. They don't care. They don't they don't spend any money on it. They don't care about the contest. So this that's why we are always at the bottom as well. Maybe you don't yeah. qualify, but we are we are always at the bottom. You actually if we are. Had no, to you go are. To if we had to you go to the yeah. semifinals, we wouldn't make it either. Yeah. It's because they they don't care. And that for Spanish artists, you know, people don't want to participate if they know that it's gonna be a fucking disaster. Yeah. So it's the same in Ireland, I think. It's like the kiss of, kiss of death, like, I know, yeah, true. <laughs> but in any case, I mean, we'll see what's, what happens. And because this yeah. year, for example, Spain is putting more effort. I don't know if because of the delegation or because of the artist. So mm. it could happen the same for Ireland. I mean, every year is different. Well, when they give it to the national, to like a, a, like a national contest, the public still pick a shit song for Ireland. Like, you know what I mean? I, yeah, no, that's not so, always the good way we still to get go. Sh- yeah. we, get, we get shit both ways, like you know what I mean. So it's I just, I just really think we just can't get the, we just can't attract the good songwriters, you know. And uh, fuck it, I'm I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I just like if you're if you're a Eurovision fan, you're from Ireland. You just accept your fate every year, like you know. So that's just what it is. We'll, we'll, well, it we'll used see. to be the same. I always put the Festival de Cansado as an example. It used to be the same with them until they decided to uh, fire 
all the people responsible for that and say, okay, let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the scratch and select, yeah. like make it more, I don't know, attractive for yeah. composers and songwriters. It's changed. It has nothing to do. Festival La Cansao today, like yeah. from two or three years yeah, ago. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. That's Maybe good, though. Yeah, I'm enjoying Festival de Cansao now. Like, it's one of the most interesting yeah, yeah. national national selections uh, in Europe now. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, I do. Go ahead. No, I just said I actually, I actually, I actually do like the Spanish entry this year. Like Mickey, I think it's pretty good. Like you know, it's fun. Like it's upbeat. Anyway, it's got a good tempo yeah. and you know, if we play in all in the Euro Club, if we play in all the bars, it'll be you know, it'll be. The class like i'm looking forward to it like yeah. yeah i mean it's i think it's totally different from any other entries this year so that's a good point for us yeah <laughs> i think that it yeah. will stand out that's a yeah. our strongest point <laughs> yeah <laughs> but because we know that we are gonna fuck up with the stage in any way we are assuming that already <laughs> but at least we no, will stand out it's, I it's we'll see. different and mickey he's super nice and he has great energy on the stage yeah yeah, yeah, and yeah. I don't know. Well, we are positive as always, but until the until we got there, and then we see that it's all a mess, and they are improvising, <laughs> and they have nothing ready, and they're no, saying, they say started with the staging over. already, so this year is gonna be a bit. Different. They're gonna nail it. Come on, yeah, be confident, be positive. Okay, we have a comment here from Deep that is saying that he doesn't understand why last year. Ireland qualified that he preferred Greece. That was much better. Greece was terrible last year. It was a, it was Emperor's new Emperor's new clothes. It wasn't good. I was the only and I remember saying, guys, this is not good. Why are why why are people thinking it's going to qualify? People thought it's going to win. Ah. Yeah, to be honest, bad. it was it was my top four. Yeah. When I, I when I listened to the song, I thought that it was an an amazing song. But on the stage, it was a, a letdown. Like that's that's all you can offer, like a blue hunt. Yeah, the stage. it was flat. So like, yeah, ah. it was very flat. Life, yeah. It was, it was lame. It didn't work. Exactly. And, I, and I think Greece actually was a kick up the hole for Greece because they qualify every year, and I think that was they got it. They got a fright. Now I like the song this year. Actually, this will qualify. But uh, yeah, last year, no, not for me, not for me at all. And Ireland, in fairness, Ireland had sentiment. You know. You know, it, it was good. We deserved yeah. to qualify last year. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally agree. I agree too. Uh, it Last year, the first semi final was a bloodbath. Yeah. Like, if you review the top 10 in the final, they're seven, all, all... seven out of 10 acts were in the first semi final. So it was an, an actual bloodbath. So, really good. Okay, more <laughs> comments like... here. Okay. We have Eurovision in Ireland is asking, is saying that Ireland have a chance of making it to the final. And is asking us if we think if they qualified last year only because of the gay dancers. Well, it, it well it certainly helped. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's it's not the only thing, but it helped a lot. I think. Oh, I mean, uh, it eliminated all that. the all the song and the staging, so that's that was a good improvement. But the song itself has something. That song it was it's very mellow and charismatic R and R like Rhino Shoxi is a great performer and he's mm -hmm. a great like he's a lovely voice and he it was good and like obviously. That's the, the, the dancers works, you know. I mean, I mean, that's why you have staging. That's why we need staging. It's to fucking get you through, like you know. So, I'd say one hundred percent without staging last year, Ireland would be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Was... When I first heard the song, I thought immediately, like Ireland is not making it this year. Yeah, yeah. Seeing that they are in the first semi final, I was so... know it's so many good entries, but it's certainly the the music video. And the staging help a lot, but it's not just one thing or the other. It's all as a pack. Yeah, so true, yeah. true. What else? So yeah, no, no more questions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no more questions regarding Ireland because yeah, they yeah, are like, talking about the Spain as well. Yeah. Spain after the revamp so, sounds like a World Cup song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of does. Yeah, I can see that. Like. That's not yeah, a bad well, thing, it's, is it? it's a funny app, so, yeah. Okay, not? this is an important question. has nothing to do with this. Are you boyfriend and girlfriend or brother and sister? <laughs> do we look alike? What do you do think, buddy? Like? <laughs> <laughs> we are just cousins. 
No, we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, yeah we are a couple. <clears throat> and how long are you going out? Ooh. Together. We celebrated yeah. our 12th anniversary two weeks ago. 12 years. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, what yeah, else? Watch night or something. <laughs> Go so, on. Any more questions? No, it doesn't look like, I mean, I don't think, well, we must say that we try to invite to this talk uh, to another Twitter uh, yeah. girl. Another Iris, girl. Uh, another Iris girl. Another Iris girl. Fan. Fan. We cool. haven't oh, met yeah. her in person yet, but it will be nice. She... She's Luis ESC. Is yeah, from name. Eurovision Hub. I don't know if you know it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's another YouTube channel. There's a, a bunch of people from... There's another YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> and they react to all the countries. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So just say hello to her. And she, she told me that she would like to express that she likes her and the song, but she's hoping that the delegation will put some thought into it and mm -hmm. how it will be straight and promoted. And she yeah. wouldn't be happy if, as an Irish hero fan, if they stick her out on a stage with her own mic come made, so with her oh, proper she, support. She, she'll, yeah. she'll die if that happens. Yeah, exactly. In rot on stage, that happens. Hopefully, because, that, that won't happen. How, how old is she? Because she's young as well. You know oh, how old she is she? 24, I think. Yeah, she was asked that question in Curious Cat the okay. other day, and her answer was, how old do you think I am? <laughs> so I, I think that she doesn't want to say. She's 24. Oh, she, she's yeah. young. I she's think that she's in, in her 20s. 20s. I think she's starting a master's yeah. degree, so she, she might be yeah, around 20s. Mm. Uh, what else? The state, Deep says, the staying helps a lot. Last, North Macedonia. La, now it's North so Macedonia. So because of that full staying, yeah. yeah. Totally yeah, agree. Totally. I love North that song. North Macedonia, they always, they always do the same. That was my favorite song last year by A Mile. But it was terrible, like. It was terrible. It was, terrible. was like. Oh, it was car crash. It was yeah, car crash. totally. I, mean, I, was, I like. I still listen to that song like regularly. It is fantastic. Like. It is. It is. Yeah. It was one of our favorites. It was one. It was in my top five, yeah. along with oh, uh, yeah. Greece and another non qualifiers. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. uh, do you think this year Spain should internally represent Rosalia? To go to Eurovision to oh, that would be great. Oh, she, yeah. won't, she won't go though, she would never go. She, that was, she, well, she, she said she in said an interview that, that she wouldn't mind going, but I it mean, will be under her but, own, you know, requirements, exactly. Yeah, and of course, yeah. That, that, that will require money, and the delegation is not going to pay that for that money. Pretty cool. You got Rosalia to go to the Eurovision. That would like what? Rosalia is amazing. And this that year she released uh, her single, well, her, the whole album. album. Uh, it's fucking amazing. The first single that she released before the whole album, Malamente, I say, oh my god, this is so fresh yet so Spanish as well. She should go to Eurovision to represent mm. us. It could win totally. This is totally new. But now she's so big in. She has Globally. two graphics already. Two yeah. graphics. I mean, yeah. like, what the fuck? But I don't think that. Yeah, but hopefully, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But who knows? You never know. You never know. Yeah. She would bring a new audience to the Eurovision if she turned to Eurovision. Because I know friends of mine who love her and hate the Eurovision. And if she turned around and did the Eurovision, it would bring in a, a different dimension completely. New yeah, fans. Exactly. Today, you know? That's what the Western countries are missing. Like bringing like really known people and good artists to the contest yeah. because from the Eastern European countries they are bringing already like really known artists, but we are not bringing them. So that's yeah. the thing we have to push. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have another question from Owen Comfort. Do you think Western European nation needs to start block voting for each other? But that's that's gonna never stop. <laughs> it's something that's, that you can you can you, you can cannot, do anything. You can't do that. that that's just it. That's why the jury is there. Yeah, just we, to try to compensate because that's gonna happen. Sometimes, and that's sometimes a great we question. think it's voting, but sometimes it's more cultural than political. Yeah. It's like they are used to that type of songs, they and that's why they vote each the other. Market industry. So. Yeah, and the market industry. I mean. Russia market is really big, so all Eastern European countries get their type of songs. Sergei Nazareth this year, I mean, he's like topping all the charts in Eastern Europe. So yeah. she's gonna get she's gonna get 
plenty of boats there, but not because they are Russian or they like Russia, but because they are used to that type of music and they are listening every day. So that's the yeah. advantage. It's true, yeah. It is an advantage, but we just have to get on with it, don't we? Yeah, exactly. If, if you have a really good song, really good staging, I mean, it doesn't matter what the others have. I mean, We've seen many years, like with Israel, Portugal, countries that don't have many friends or many neighbors. And mm. if you win a, a good package, you could win. But it's true that true. that's not only the block voting, but also the diasporas. But that's why the jury is one of the duties of the jury. Thank well. God. So to, to, to Thank stop God. That. Yeah. What do you think, guys, of Armenia this year? I like it. You like it? Uh, I like it. It'll qualify, but I don't, I don't think it'll do very well in the grand final, but I think it'll qualify. I mean, the staging that Armenia usually brings is good, so... It's, it's more than good. It's <laughs> fucking amazing. Yes, so like... the, I, I'm liking the song. It's growing on me, the song. Today I was, like, mumming the song, and I didn't... What is this song? And, and I realized that it was the Armenian song. So, I don't know. It could surprise some people and get in there. I don't know. I like the song, but it's it's not that I love it. So I don't know. No, it, it's not. It's definitely not one of my heavy rotation songs. But it's it's good. It, it's it'll work. Like, but yeah. I don't think I'll do. It. I don't. I can't see it being in top ten. Like, let's see. Uh, Eurovision in Ireland asked, "Do you think that Ed Sheeran should write a song for the UK internally for Eurovision?" 2020, because he said he's willing to write a song, but not enter himself. He should write a song for Ireland. <laughs> he's, he's Irish too, like like he's yeah, he's, exactly. Like, yeah, mm. his music influences. Uh, they have a lot of Irish there. Well, all so. his, Yeah, I don't know. Um, what's it? I just I I personally hate Ed Sheeran. Um, <laughs> Why? I just no, it just kind of rubs you up the wrong way, and his music rubs me up completely the wrong way. Uh, so I don't know. I, I can't. I can't really answer that question because I'm biased totally. So <laughs> no, I mean Ed Sheeran is brilliant at this, and I think if he I writes mean, a song for Eurovision, it's gonna be hey, a really good song. Song. he won't ever write a song for Ireland, obviously. But if he did, mm -hmm. I'll accept it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Armenia knows how to stage a song, true. If she can hit those notes live and with good staging, it can do very well. Let's see, it's too early to say if we haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. We are talking just about the song, and half of them are the studio cuts. So a lot of things could happen, and a lot of things could change. Sorry, guys, what you said there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about your ranking. And who do you see that it will potentially will win or win the Eurovision? Yeah, well, I have, I have, I backed um, Iceland to win a 33 to 1 before <laughs> Hatari won the actual nas national, uh, national oh. final. Hatari, uh, oh, Hatari. Hatari, Hatari. <laughs> um, so I backed him 33 to 1, 33, and. Um, I it's not my it's not it's not it's not my favorite song in the Eurovision this year, but I think uh, because it's such a, uh, an anti kind of a Eurovision song, and uh, obviously it's anti anti Israel with their sentiment as well. And I've read read a few interviews with them that they're not the biggest fans of Israel, which is which is great. Yeah, um, I love that too. I'm hoping I'm hoping that when they actually the media tour really kicks off. That like the casual, you know, the casual will get behind and go, oh, these guys don't like Israel, and they're gonna, you know, push forward and you know, you know, get behind it and you know, make them win. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know how they deal with the jury, but may maybe they can get the public behind them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we, we, you know. No, I mean it's a, it's a good bet for me. I think they are different. They are bringing something completely new for Eurovision. I mean, nobody has brought like industrial music ever, like yeah. this type and. This bond this on the stage is like amazing. So yeah. People are going to be disturbed. I'm leaving for that. <laughs> so, I can't wait. I'm going to yeah. yeah. dress hey. up as Hattari on the final. Uh, hey, in your. I know that they are going to qualify, so I'm going to dress up like on bondage. <laughs> in years but, to come, everyone, like, there'll be people dressing up for 
hattery for years to come. This is going to be a long term costume yeah, for now. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, like Verka, Verka Durst from Ukraine, you know, it's going to be that all over again. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I think that it's not only that they will stand out because they are different and the whole package. The song is good. Like the song, song is itself good. is good. <laughs> it's song is good. good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, Whatever. Oh, the kind of hard rock kind of band, wasn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. Kind of, yeah. It was a metal band. Yeah. Like people voted for Hungary more than they voted for Sweden, Australia. Or France. Oh, like, Australia is so bad this year. I really hate Australia this year. They've Australia <laughs> missed the trick. Australia should have sent 2000 and whatever. Oh, that yeah, would have that, done. That was, it, yeah. that was, they really missed a the trick there. Like they could have been, they could have been a potential to win the yeah, 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 totally. They really fucked up by sending that. I was like, are you serious? Are you fucking serious saying this song? Right? I mean, they said it what, what they wanted because both the public and the and the jury voted for, for her. So I, I know, mean, but we she's, like, she, she, she's popular. Like in, 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 yeah. oh, we no, like I the like, song. I, it's not so bad, yeah, but yeah, it's no. not a winner song. I, I, like me, this though, more, I like it too, but the more I listen to it, it annoys me. Um, I don't know. I, I, I can't pipe my finger on it. It just kind of irks me, you know, that kind of way. Like, you know, I, and know, I, I know, love I know. I think out of these uh, national selections, Australia was the the worst. Like oh, picking, picking drunk, the winner because they, they have a clear winner that it was a a contender to win. It was at least there's the three five. Big, three big ones. What was the other one as well? That other that kind of all uh, family band. What uh, were they called? Shepard. Ah, Shepard. I didn't Shep like it. I liked it. I thought it was all right. Oh, generic. Nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> cheesy, cheesy. No, Come on. I no, on my way, on my way. Man, Jesus, I, I know all this. <laughs> on my way, on my, I, I, yeah, I like that. Um, but as what's 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 going to win? What's going to win? Netherlands will be hard to beat, lads. They'll they'll, they'll do an amazing staging. Yeah. It's a power, powerful ballad. It'll just be yeah. It'll be different. It'll be it different. It will be maybe. the ballad this year. Yeah. Okay. It'll be, like, it'll be my, my drop. Imagine, yeah. imagine, imagine if Ireland are b before them. <laughs> imagine, sorry, imagine if, uh, <laughs> if the Netherlands are before Ireland. We're in trouble then. Like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whoever is going to before or after is going to suffer. Yeah. Unless you bring a really good song, it's going to suffer. And there are a few no, candidates okay. there. So. That not always happened. Remember last year, Cyprus? She was the favorite to win. She was amazing on the States. And that, and right after that, it was Italy. And a lot of people were saying, oh, Italy is dead. Italy was third from the public. Yeah. So who knows? Uh, yeah, who knows? I do like Italy. I like, I like Italy this year. It's good. I know it's, I know it's your favorite. It's, it's like, my fucking favorite. Go, Mamut. Yeah, I yeah, love no, really it. And the songs that are out there is one of the best songs and more modern and more catchy and everything. It's, so. it's fantastic. It absolutely is fantastic. And you know what? Italy... So over the last, I don't know, five, six years, they're, they put in good songs. The Sam Reno yeah. put, it works. They have, it works. They don't put in bad songs, like. They, like, they're really, really good, like. But that like, comes, like, that comes back uh, to what we were saying before about treating the festival right and giving them, you know, good fame. Uh, mm -hmm. San Remo is not made for Eurovision. It's, like, it's so it's important made, in Italy that everybody made, wants to participate. Big it's artists want to participate. Yeah. yeah, that's why they have they sense so many good qualities because mm. they, there is this uh, prestige, prestige, prestige. Mm. You know, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's winning that alone is kind of like on a par in winning the Eurovision. You know, if you're if you're Italian, like you know, it's it's it is prestigious. You know, it's you make your career out of winning San Remo. You know, so. I'm surprised that the, it was actually the jury who voted for for Mahmoud, and that was the best decision ever because the second, the second, the run up, yeah, runner. the runner up, it was a nice ballad, but it was more of the same. Yeah, but it would okay. have done well on Eurovision as well, but it was the typical Italian ballad, yeah. and this is so fresh, to, so fresh, it was yet not so Italian. To, it was not coming mm. to Eurovision, okay? Yeah, what? Well, any case, my favorite song is uh, Portugal, it's the Lemo Bass. Oh, man, fantastic. Conan. Oh, brilliant. It yeah. is, it's, it's 
breath of fresh air. The production. I like I told people last week that it kind of reminds me of Jamie XX uh production. Sure. And uh yeah. I got I got it down, but it kind of does. It does it reminds me of that, like, you know, it's so weird and beautiful. Um I'd love to see it do well. Um I might be I just be a bit I just the reason do I, well. the reason I, don't, I, mean. I mean the only reason I don't want to see it win because because uh, I went to Lisbon last year. I don't want to go back to Lisbon. I want to go to somewhere new. So that's uh, just me. Maybe being... they, they pick Porto <laughs> yeah. instead of Lisbon. And we go to oh, Porto. Yeah. That is completely different. So. We, we that would work. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think uh, Portugal uh, maybe is not that high on the rank on the tops because it's, uh, it's very de divisive. You know, it's too weird from... Yeah, so either people, you like it or you hate but it. But if yeah. you like it, you like it well, a lot. It's the same. Yeah, it's, it's like Salvador. Salvador. Yeah. And it will stand out as well, for sure. And I love the song too. Like it's the, the most it's definitely the most unique song in the whole competition by a mile. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Here. No, no, and the and the live performance, I mean, with that dancer and the dance is like, I mean, it's out of this world. I mean, it's totally modern and it's fantastic. I love it. I love it. If anybody hasn't seen it, you should watch it. Like it's the video yeah. is funny. They're so good, like so good. At the beginning, I was like, "What the fuck with the dancer?" But no, imagine no. now they're staging without the dancer. No, it wouldn't no, no. work. Yeah. Like you need the dancer doing yeah, exactly. doing his stuff. Like I love it. I love it. So I think it is getting a bit long already. Yeah, it's already thirty-seven <laughs> minutes. So we okay, should wrap yeah. it up and make okay, it. Okay, let's, like let's see if there is any comment. Any comment, and then we wrap up. Yeah. Okay, and my friend's waiting for me. Hello, Andrea. Wait, we're coming out in two minutes, Andrea. <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, so Iceland, Netherlands, Switzerland, yeah, they are fan favorites. I hope that I Iceland does well. I hate this hand. I, I oh. hate this hand. Oh, it hurts me. Oh, it's my least favorite in the whole competition. It's off. I prefer Montenegro than, it's, than Switzerland this year. <laughs> yeah. I, mean that. I don't mind Switzerland. It, it's not oh. my top 10. Definitely. Shit. I understand why people, why people, yeah, we understand why like people it, like but... it, but no, it's no. not our cup of tea. Either. No, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> so people Can are I... saying Italy, Italy, Netherlands, 2000 and whatever, Hattari. Okay. So we are talking the same language, guys. That's okay, guys. <laughs> so, so, guys, we, we're, last thing uh, about yeah, Ireland, and we'll wrap it up, I think. Okay. Uh, last thing about Ireland. Good luck, Ireland. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Try not to fuck up too much with the stage. Yeah, as we say, you need to have a song, you need to have a good singer, you need to have a good stage. And at the moment, Wait. all of those things are not there. So, for, for they're, me, they're, 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 they're about uh, 55%. Yeah. I think maybe. Um, we're not, you know, what can we do? Yeah. <laughs> Let's be positive. I don't know. Positive thinking. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for being here with us. No yeah, worries. Yeah. Thank you for having me. And I will see you on the radio on the 16th of April, yeah, for the preview yeah. of the semi final. Yeah, we'll be there. Like... We'll be there, yeah. Looking Ranting forward about to it. The, <laughs> how about the candidates that we don't like and <laughs> the last year? Okay. Well, great. enjoy your St. Patrick's. Yeah. Yeah, guys, have a great time, and I'll see you soon, okay? Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.